Good evening, everybody. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner. And as you well know, anybody that has followed my video response force contest at all knows that in the rules, it specifically states that if nobody participates, then I declare myself the winner right off the bat. So guess what, folks? I am the winner of the video response wars this week because there were no other contestants. Hopefully that'll change next week. We're going to give it a try. Anyway, I thought I would go ahead and give an Easter commentary since it is Easter Sunday. Uh, normally I would not do a video on a holiday and that is because of my Christian beliefs, but in this particular case I decided to go ahead and make an exception because of what I'm going to talk about. Now, I hear this all the time. Well, we should go after the retailers because they're open on the holidays. Really? Let me ask you this. Now, 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 people ask me about this all the time. Well, how do you feel about all this? Okay, well, here's my response. 70% of our country is supposed to be Christian. Okay? At least 70%. Yet, where are our hearts? Where are our hearts? Are they with our families? Are they within the church? Or are they in the supermarket? Now, I know that there are some situations, and, and, I'll, and I'll say this, um, a lot of the reason why, a lot of the reason why our hearts can be found in the supermarket on a holiday is because of poor planning. Now, I will give an exception here. Sometimes when it comes to medications, you have to have this critical medication and you have to have it at a certain, certain time. And because of that, uh, you have to go to your drugstore or whatever to get this medication because you'll have a life-threatening situation if you don't. But a majority of the time, these people are going to these shopping centers pretty much because of poor planning. They didn't think ahead. Let me tell you something. These holidays have not changed their days well, at least most of them have, haven't changed their days for at least 50 years, if not more. Okay? And with the advent of the Internet, all you have to do is look up these holidays ahead of time, and then you'll know exactly when these planes are. So there's no reason why you should not know about an upcoming holiday. It's just that simple. So for you to stand there and say, well, I didn't plan very well. How could you not plan very well if you know through the Internet and, and, and if you don't have the internet, there are plenty of other people to do that you can just go up and ask them. Let me tell you something. A lot of people actually go to the library, like I had stated in a previous video, and they get on the internet from the library. Some of these people watch my videos. They can actually look this stuff up at the library. They can even ask the librarian when these holidays are. So there's really, in this day and age, no excuse whatsoever for you not knowing when these holidays are. It's that simple. Shoot, are you kidding me? With as much advertising as retailers pump out every single day to let you know about these upcoming holidays, you're telling me you do not know when these holidays are? That's ridiculous. But that's one problem. Here we're standing here, we're talking about uh, the problem of of where we're supposed to be on a holiday. And let me tell you something. I know there are some people out there who's like, well, chuck the holiday. I'm going to shop anyway. Let me tell you something. God has a message for you. It's right there in that Bible. And I don't think you're going to like what he has to say about that. It's that simple. But then we have a second problem. Okay. We have these hot ticket items that go on sale just prior to a holiday. The big screen TV, the iPod, the, the Nintendo Wii, the Xbox, uh, the PlayStation. I, mean, I could just go on and on and on. These hot ticket items, and they, try to, they, they give you these dirt cheap prices on, on days like... Now, we're talking about the day after Thanksgiving. Now, in modern times, the day after Thanksgiving has been called Black Friday. Okay. We're talking about that now, all right? And you have these people and they, and they're trying to get these hot ticket items for these ridiculously low prices to impress everybody. Okay? Well, we got to make sure that our friends know how much we love them so uh, we can't really afford these presents at the regular prices. So we so we go out there and we risk our lives and we risk our cars. Some of these people, would you believe this? This is how disgusting some people have become. Here it is, 
Thanksgiving Eve when they're supposed to have their Thanksgiving dinner and where are they having it? Not in their homes. Oh no. They're going out to the shopping center parking lot and having Thanksgiving dinner out there just so they can ensure themselves a spot so they can get these hot ticket items at these ridiculously low prices. Now other people, they don't camp out. They get up at, at 3 o'clock in the morning. Now think about this. Three hours have just passed from midnight of Thanksgiving and now they're up again getting themselves all dooted up to go out and rush themselves up to the shopping center risking their car risking their lives because remember we're talking about people that will rush in in a stampede into these stores so that's risking their lives to get this hot ticket item at this ridiculously low price so they can impress their friends what insanity these are the kind of people that should be locked up literally they really should be locked up is that how Christianity works these days? You really have to ask yourself that question. Is that what the guy, way God would want you to do it? The answer is no. It's flat out no. Let me tell you something. If you're standing there telling, your, telling everybody that God is your supplier, then wouldn't it make more sense that God would not only tell you what gift to buy, for the person you're supposed to be buying for but on top of that he would provide a time for you to buy the present and make sure the present was there I mean, half these people go through these stampedes only to come out empty handed because all the items have sold is that what you want? when you're trusting in God God will tell you when to go get the present he will tell you what present to get and he will make sure that it's the price that you can afford come on people how many times have you bought these hot ticket items at these ridiculously low prices on credit cards when you knew you still didn't have the money to pay for the gift and we're doing this to show everybody that that we can get these kind of gifts the big show thing where are our hearts then let me tell you something, when I shop for people, I'm not standing there trying to do Cyber Monday or Black Friday or anything like that. I, on the other hand, am thinking, you know, what would it, how does this person feel? Uh, what, 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 what is this person like? Uh, get, getting a gift that is, is appropriate for them. And, and uh, I know God's my supplier and he'll help me find the right price at the right time and make sure the item's there. Because you want to make sure that person gets it because that's how much you care about people. If you let God guide your purchases, you'll be better off. Now here's the last point I'm going to try to make. When you're trying to get hypercritical medicines, that's one thing. But when you have a kid whining in your house about chocolate milk, Here's what my answer to that. Why aren't we teaching the sacrifices of Jesus? If we don't nip this whining thing in the bud now, what's that kid going to be like 20 or 30 years down the road? Is that what we want? Are we teaching materialism to our kids? Or are we teaching them how Christianity actually works? That's the difference. When you're buying a present for somebody, or if you're just buying supplies, teach your kids how to plan ahead. Teach them how to think about the other person and decide what's best for them in the line of buying a present. Quit worrying about those hot ticket items at those ridiculously low prices. It's not worth your life, and it is not worth wrecking your car for. And quit having Thanksgiving dinner in the parking lot. That's just disgusting. That's insane. You should be committed for that. But most importantly, if 70% of our country is supposed to be as Christian as we say they are, then it all comes down to a a supply and demand issue. If there is not a demand because the customers are no longer in the stores on those holidays, then most likely the stores will close on those holidays because they'll have nobody to sell to. Okay? 
my answer to you people is this. If you are that Christian, you should be in your homes. You should be in your churches. You should not be in the shopping center unless you absolutely have to. And if you're doing it that way, more likely you will see a lot of stores closing because they won't have a lot of customers. They're not going to keep a store open if there's only going to be two or three customers when they normally is like 50 or 60. Don't blame the store owners. They're just, they're just supplying the demand. It's you that has the problem. It's you. Search your heart. Search the Bible. Learn the ways of Jesus. And then use that as your guide to shopping. Holiday shopping is spelled out very crystal clear in the Bible. Abide by that and you will do fine over the holidays. Most of the problem with the holidays these days are poor planning and like I said, all you have to do is get on the internet or talk to a friend or whatever, get those dates and get things ready ahead of time so you're not have to deal with this. And quit trying to get those hot ticket items at those ridiculously low prices. That is not being dependent on God's will. If God wants you to have a specific item for a specific friend to show how much you care, He'll make sure you have an opportunity to get it. And you'll be able to get it safely at the price God wants you to pay, not what you want to pay. Quit being a cheapskate. Alright, that's all I've got to tell you for this evening. I will tell you now to just stay tuned.